Hey guys, so I talked about the most delusional the Mana Search fan I've come in contact with, and there's some really up there in terms of living in a bubble. But today I'm going to talk about the most desperate. Many of you might think that I'm a desperate Wedge fan, but I assure you that is not true. So, he gets a text message, I believe. I need help, Wedge. I'm trying to order the deck you posted that you want us to order on TCG Player. Oh, I don't know. People order stuff? Is there like a link that you can click on that Wedge gets paid? I don't know. But when I try to place the order, they give me some nonsense about how all the orders have to be $2 or more. Or they won't ship the cards. Is there a way around this? Or do all, all of the orders have to be $2? I need some help here. Or do I just go somewhere else? So basically a guy watches the video. I mean this is the conversion path that TCG player wants you to take, right? This is the ideal customer if you will. Wedge posts a deck. There is a link to the deck in the description. Also a affiliate link. And then that way TCG player can track it and then give Weds a hefty play paycheck. One of the interesting parts about this one is don't even bother answering because I know you don't care about anyone. You just care about your channel and your views, but you don't care about the people that actually support you and got your channel where it is. I'm leaving, but I know someone like you doesn't care about the little guy. So... I don't get too many messages like this. Uh, I don't know what it's like to try to sell a deck. So Ryan is pretty bad, but he's not, he's delusional, but he's not desperate. Like he's not texting Wedge about buying a deck and having problems buying it. This is a casual player. You can tell from his text message. He's a super duper casual player and he needs some help. He does not know how TCG player works. Uh, he's only been told that he should click this link and buy the deck that Wedge is making at the time with janky cards. Uh, none of those cards, by the way, will ever retain their price. Just in case you were wondering, the MTG Finance part of that. At the very end of the day, you have people who are ridiculous online. Now, of course, I understand this because I have been attacked on this 4chan. I've been doxxed on 4chan uh, non-stop for a month when I was making my counterfeit magic video. That being said, I do find it kind of fascinating that the comments like that also apply to Wedge. He is the type of person who if you pay him six months of $10 and you want to send him a signed card and you email him all the time or you text him all the time and you Facebook message him all the time about signed card, you still ain't gonna receive your signed card. You receive a lot of lost packages with no tracking, but that's about it. So it's kind of interesting to see him comment. Um, definitely a response from Wedge could get this casual player playing magic for the next 10, 15 years, but it's too much work. We're, we are talking about someone who's never worked a day in their life, who's never had a W-2 job, uh, who has severe IBS and cannot move from his parents' basement home. Many of you might think, oh, that's kind of harsh. You know, that is really harsh for you to say, MTG line. My philosophy has always been get strong, help as many people as you can, and then get even stronger. Help those people become strong so they can help other people. In the Republican terms for the political party, it would be trickle-down economics, but in terms of actually doing it. So it's not trickle-down money, it's putting in your hours volunteering. So it's one thing for Wedge to say, oh, pit bulls get a bad rep, you should adopt some. It's another thing to foster a pit bull, which I have. Half pit bull, half something else but it got kicked out of an apartment because some apartments do not allow certain breeds of dogs, which is kind of illegal, but there's entire states which won't, entire cities that don't allow pit bulls. 
my point is this is a very very good customer like if you were talking about customers to me somebody who watches a youtube video goes on tcg player is in the action of buying he's actually trying to buy the deck he just it just doesn't allow him and then he wants to ask a question to a tcg player rep how does he get to tcg why does he think wedge is associated with tcg player it's because it's advertised everywhere that's not like a random association he's making he's assuming that wedge can help him because of his cachet with tcg player as we see in multiple images so you have a casual brand new player who doesn't know how to use tcg player if i was tcg player i would be like wedge you got to respond to this guy you got to make your commission and because from this point on he'll be a lifetime tcg he'll buy from this store forever and you'll get a kickback forever it's called a customer's lifetime expected value or a customer lifetime value i don't think there's expected lifetime expected no maybe there is expected but instead of that he's just weighs them off and says blank you you casual folk and that's the attitude it's the same dude who cannot ship a signed bulk card in six months of getting paid on patreon it's just a bulk card i mean i know mail gets lost but According to you, you send some fetch lands and you send some goodies and surprises that you, we still don't know what they are. Going to the mail office sucks. I have to go there when I had to send my foil Liliana of the Veil, uh, in original Innistrad, $250 card at the time. It was actually $250 after the reprint. It could have been a lot higher had they not reprinted her. You send it. You send it the day. It doesn't matter. You have a job, whatever. You promise them to send it. You send it. You send over tracking. You send the picture to Facebook. And she received the promised prize. And no, she didn't pay me any money. No, she didn't pay for shipping. I covered shipping. She didn't pay for tracking. I didn't ask her, oh, hey, will you want tracking on this? Uh, just give me some extra. It, I don't know. It really is kind of baffling to me how you have the ideal customer for tcg player this is a customer that went in the sales funnel exactly what you wanted to see a new player who's going to order a deck because a youtuber told him to on a certain website that the youtuber is sponsored by and now he cannot order the cards because he's trying to make the entire deck which is a big ticket item that's an entire deck there for multiple sellers multiple commissions spread across multiple sellers which is really good to keep those sellers happy volume is very important in this industry and the dude who's supposed to be your ambassador says blank you i'm not going to say he does say that he didn't respond in two days and so on but honestly the dude hasn't responded in six months to his patreon and that's a guy who's paying him directly money what are the chances that he responds to somebody who's trying to buy a deck and give him commission? Now, I have heard rumors that he doesn't get paid commission, that he just gets paid per link. I find that kind of ridiculous because if you look at the link, it's a commission structured link. It's an affiliate link. So if he wasn't getting paid for that, like outside of the tracking purposes, which then they need to know how much to pay him, right? Like, what is the going rate for a mana source to link to a creeping tar pit? I don't know. I would assume it's a percentage of commission, but I'm being told now that it is actually a flat fee and that he has to make certain amounts of videos with certain amount of links, and that's how he gets paid. Now, regardless, I mean, this is the ideal customer. This is a customer you only dream of in any other business. Somebody who's a new player, someone who's ordered an entire deck from multiple buyers, has a simple question how to solve this problem. But honestly, he should have asked TCG Player customer service to be, if, to be completely frank. And instead of turning him on to TCG Player, the mana source just waves him off. And I'm sure that this is not the first person. I'm sure that this will not be the last person. But this is the ideal person. This is 100% a great customer for life. You answer their question very simply. Just give them a response. And suddenly they use TCG Player and they buy every deck that you make a video on. 
that's what they're paying Wedge to do. I mean, that's what they're paying him to do. And the fact that he is actively not doing this and he's representing TCG player in this way, I would be really upset. I know they're not going to be because Wedge, right? You know, everyone feels pity. Like the worst thing I think people can feel about you is pity. I would hate for people to, to feel that about me. You know, you have to be strong. You make your life. You know, begging for money is not. Here's what I believe. We, I was very poor when I was little, but we never begged. We never begged. We just worked harder, and that's what I believe. So when I see people panhandling and begging and peeing on my retail store, it's disgusting because you know the panhandlers that our community so defended, it turned out that they were using the dead picture of an unrelated relative and no one could stop them. So imagine, and, and this is actually the scenario, a friend of the family went, saw the panhandlers saying that, oh, they had lost their father and they wanted to collect funeral costs. But he was like, hey, that's my friend. You're not related to them at all. Who are you? And then he texted a photo to the Axel family and then that's how they got into the news. But there's no shame. They're out panhandling with the same image today. The police can't stop them. No one can stop them. Their whole deal is that, hey, my father died. I'm trying to get funeral costs. And by the way, we just took this picture online of a local person who died. And now everyone knows, you know, they dragged the whole family into it. It's very sad. Or, you know, in Walmart, uh, my Walmart post went viral the other day about how crappy my Walmart is. You have a lot of people who panhandle there with children. It's 100 blanking degrees. Why are your children out? They should be having fun or a swimming pool, but they bring their children and their babies and they stand, block the, you know, entrance to the, wall, or the, entrance to the parking lot at Walmart. And man, like that's, I don't know. Maybe I come from, I believe you should work really hard. You should pay your taxes. You should do a good job at your work for your clients. You should promote a good employee relationship. You should have a fun place to work that people want to come to. You should be flexible, work from home, remote. Like the mana source, if he really does have severe IBS, there's so many opportunities to work from home. And yes, many of you will say, oh, he's a YouTuber. I don't know like how many jobs he's created, but I do know that he used his own charity money to bid on an uncut sheet of Ravnica Allegiance or the other Ravnica set, foil uncut sheet at another charity that Wizard Coach was hosting to use for a future charity that has never happened. That was many months ago, and there's still no charity. He still has that above his bed, I assume. Now, we, you talk about delusion and you talk about um, a lot of these issues that face. There's not just the mana source, so it's a bigger image. It's a bigger problem, I see. Uh, La La Rue, I see the same problem. Herbalife, multi level marketing in general, Mary Kay. And they take advantage of people who. I don't know what their deal is, but if you present, it's like the cheater who got cheated and he sees a video of him getting cheated and then he automatically defends the person who cheated him and took away his prize money. It's like the person who stole from you, you figured out they stole from you and your response is to protect them from going to jail. Um, it's kind of like the Stockholm syndrome, right? where suddenly the person who is the worst person to you, they kidnap you, it could, it could not be worse than that, I mean, in my opinion. Uh, suddenly you are their ally and you're doing everything and you tell the police that nothing bad happened to you and you, know, you just left. And There's so many cases in human psychology and this is what I'm trying to study with the wedge lemmings of when somebody is clearly abusive 
and yet the person who's being abused will do whatever it takes. And the reason I'm studying this is not only I own a marketing agency, so it's interesting from a marketing perspective of what Wedge is promoting, like uh, the monthly magic box scam, Pico Trade scam, TCG Play $15 Creeping Tar Pit, scam, more links to cards that have gone down in price, scam. Like if you watch his videos five months ago, none of those cards that he listed at the current price went up because he was telling you to buy cards that were reprinted. By definition, the video was titled 10 cards to buy now that are going to be reprinted later in two weeks. Anyway, my pet peeve is when people pretend that they're weak to take pity, there's nothing I dislike more than those panhandlers who use someone's dead father, dead uncle, dead grandfather to elicit responses and massive donations. I hope they get arrested. I saw them the other day. They look really happy. They reused pictures of, I'm sure, somebody else's dead father from a different state. They picked somebody from Houston. That's how crazy like it is. They could have picked any person who passed away in any country, but they picked a person who lived in their neighborhood. Why? Why? Why?